Nene Ochnon. The storyteller. The storyteller. <laughs> Otters Head Ransom. <coughs> Derbala from Atlantia. Otters Head Ransom. A story of the ransom of Otters Head, I suppose. She will tell us. As we heard a minute ago, catastrophe makes a good story. <laughs> but sometimes, instead of bad luck, it's just Foolishness! <laughs> Foolish once, Otter wrote a love poem to a woman. Foolish because that is illegal. Foolish twice, he wrote it to Queen Astrid of Norway, King Olaf's wife. Foolish three times, he went to Norway. <laughs> And so, of course, King Olaf clapped him in the dungeon, fully intending to kill him when he got around to it. <laughs> so, Otter languished in the dungeon. Fortunately for him, his uncle Sigvind was the king's chief counselor and skald. And so, he snuck down to Otter in his dungeon. So, what do you think of your lodgings? I've had more cheerful moments. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hear that poem. And Otter recited the poem, and his uncle said, Woo! That is bold. <laughs> you must rewrite that poem and make it less graphically outspoken of love. <laughs> and then you must write a praise poem for King Olaf, because you see, when he gets you out of this dungeon and brings you out for himself, he will want to hear the love poem. You will recite the new one. And then you will go directly into a praise poem, and I will see that you get to finish it. And as for what happens next, <laughs> that is up to the king. So Otto did what his uncle had told him to do. And then he sat in the dungeon. And then he sat in the dungeon. And then he sat in the dungeon. You notice the theme here. And finally, Olaf called Otter before him and said, let's hear that poem. So Otter recited the new poem, and then, as his uncle had suggested, went straight into the praise poem. And the assembled no nobles cried out, no, no, we've heard enough, kill him now. Wait, wait, said Sigvat. It is always good to hear praise of our king, and besides, he's not going anywhere. <laughs> The king can kill him after the praise poem as easy as before. And Otter looked up and said, Thank you. <laughs> and he finished his praise poem, and King Olaf just stared at him. <laughs> A good poem, that, the second one I mean. <laughs> It has saved your head. But be aware, the trick will not work twice. And Otter, bold as all bards are, said, Thank you, your majesty, although the head I have been paid is no handsome one. And King Olaf, well trained by bards, <laughs> took off his golden arm ring and handed it to Otter. And then Queen Astrid took off a ring from her finger and tossed it to Otter and said, Here, poet, for your praise of me. What? <laughs> <laughs> so there is something between you. And Queen Astrid said, No. I simply repay his praise of me as you repay his praise of you. And King Olaf said, 
with great determination. Never broke the law again by letting the love. 